Welcome back. Lightning strike on cue. Uh, yeah, welcome back to another episode of Project Architect 2. Today we're making more progress. Um, hopefully, we'll definitely finish out this adventure bound tab and then we'll move into the automation tab. We'll see how far we get and then I doubt we'll get into that last two tabs there, but we can at least finish out the first two. But before we do anything for Valentine's Day, I decided to get my wife some beads for an abacus. It's the little things that count. That's all right. You know, Abacus is used to count things. If you didn't know, now you know. And to get started, uh, let's see. So if we go into the adventure bound thing, we're looking here. Um, so we have some things here. We have infused dragon's breath, which is going to be a pain. And it's just going to be a pain to get, honestly, because of the stuff we'll have to do for um, apotheosis. Uh, this will be easy to get. This is easy to get. Easy. And I think it's easy. Hopefully it's easy. The dragon head is what's going to kind of suck to get. So I don't want to use... Um, so we go back and... Uh, so we need the dragon's head. But it, we got a really low chance of getting with the queen bee. And I don't want to do that. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and create a dimlet. And let's... I hope it works. Um, oh God, I, I really hate this. Um... One, two, three, four. I, I gotta have a demo around here somewhere that I don't need, right? That's one of them. That's another one. Uh, I do I not have any demo? It's just kind of laying around. I, I, I do. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna scrap this one actually, and then can extract out of here. I don't care. But what I'm gonna do here is we're gonna create a structure with end cities. Make it the end, n normal time. Make it flat and no oceans. I don't know. Okay, there we go. Then we call this one um, and cities. And I'm hoping, hoping is a key word here, that this will actually give us dragon heads that can get off of the structures. But while that uh, does its thing and builds up, I think we can go ahead and make some some of this. So we just need two nebulous hearts. I put them right back in. That's just fantastic. So now we have a magic bane that's taken care of. And then we need chorus fruit and chorus succulents. I assume that means I need to kill a chorus dude with uh, a knife, if I had to guess. Let's see if I'm right. So if I go ahead and hit you with a thing. Uh, mollusk, meats, and shell. So I was wrong, actually. How do you get coarse succulents? I guess that would make sense for it to be that. Do we need coarse fruits? How do I get it? I have a coarse flower. Will that work? Uh, I can't place you down without probably end stone if I had to. If I had to guess. Let's just, let's continue to add shit to our area of disgustingness. So we do this that and then I just okay let's go ahead and take our knife why are you not die okay um and cities dial that up and then let's go take a look I hope we have the power to do this um so we're in the end I said flat and I said to do structures of end cities and this is neither the end. I see bamboo jungles and I see no cities. All right, this was a bust. I'm going to have to go find... This is not at all what I wanted. I don't know why it's a mix of bamboo and end dimension or end biome. I don't know why no end cities are spawning. I've seen multiple of random structures, um, but no end city. So that's a bust. And you know what? I didn't even check the front of the ship where we found the elytra. There we go. So we have a dragon head, which I think is... Yeah, that's all we need. Okay, that's a big weight off my shoulders. All right, so all that was a waste of time. Let me get rid of all of that. And then the dragon... The smoke dragon leg. We gotta have... I think I have to have dragon in here. Okay, so we do have at least dragon leg. So we can go ahead and smelt... That what? You have to be cooked a certain way? Only in a smoker. Okay, you weirdo. 
All right, can I just make one? Blackstone furnace, you're really going to make me do a certain way? All right. Why are we doing this? I just I just made a furnace. We can stop with this, please. Thank you. Um, smoker, let's get some I see you. Coal, and let's get that. Next up is the ender core, which is just eye of ender. Do I have any laying around? One eye of ender. Don't need you. Um, dialect. There we go, or whatever it is. Dielectric. And then basic capacitor. Tiny. There we go. And then we should be able to go ahead and craft that. And now we have an ender core. Fantastic. This should be... Oh, God. You're doing this to me again. Go grab honey. Back up. Uh, This apple followed by this apple followed by this ethereal circlet. Circlet. Okay, done. And then chorus. I still need to figure out where... To get that forest succulents. I guess we need to go back to the end. Alright, what happens? Wait, what's this? Oh. Hello. I found them. Does that have to be a knife? No, it doesn't. Okay, cool. And now we should have some of this done. There we go. So we got one thing of chorus fruit sauce. And then we need to come in here, grab our smoked dragon leg. And boom. Dragon leg with sauce. And that covers everything except these damn things. So we need 40 Eterna, 15, at least 15 Quanta. So it requires at least 40. So we can go above 40. 15% to 25% Quanta. And then six, at least 60 Arcana. So at Apotheosis, let's see what gets us what here in terms of... Where are your bookshelves? Thank you. Um, so we need a lot of Eterna, little Quanta, and so we need mainly Eterna. Oh, wait, these are all that's EMCable. Why is that random one EMCable? Is it the only one? So this is oh, come back, come back, come back, come back, come back. This one's EMCable for some reason, I don't know why. And the rest of them are not. All right, let's get ourselves okay. I. I am so done with these guys. I always did not enjoy this part. We didn't find I can't find anything with a lot of Arcana on it that doesn't also have Quanta. So I guess we're gonna have to really bump up everything and then just get something to take off Quanta and nothing else. If that's possible. Alright, I think the best approach here is an echoing skulk shelf, because we have a EMC for all this, and then um, combine that with melon shelves to get rid of the quanta. That's the only thing I can really see right now. Um, so, I think we need 10 skulk shelves. So, go ahead and get crafting that. Oh my god. At least it's... It, okay. I'm going to lose my shit. At least this is the one that's EMCable. That's at least good. I think that's why this one is EMCable and the rest are not. So now we have a stack of those. And to uh, do this, we need at least 30, 40, 40. So uh, not really sure here. 30, 40, 40. Uh, I don't know. All right, I've got a method for this, and it's called looking online because I'm not about to do all the math. So we need prismarine bricks. Um, that is step number one. Prismarine, uh, the bricks. Go ahead and learn that. We grab a stack of those, and then um, because we need seashells. That is apparently step number one. And then, was it Pufferfish? What? It says I learned Pufferfish. Oh wait, I'm in the wrong thing. Okay. So grab some Pufferfish as well. And what else do we need for seashelves? Uh, bookshelf. 
Just a normal one, I think. And then water bottles. Not sure how many I needed, but uh, that's fine. Now I'm going to just go ahead and make seashells. At least I need more than that. So we need more prismarine bricks. And then we'll go ahead and make the rest of those. And I think you put them in this kind of formation. Okay. And now we should have enough to get to our next level, I think. Or not. I'm not sure how Apotheosis Enchanting works, but... Uh, I don't even know how many I need there. That's probably too many. Oh my god. I think I have to fill in the corners here? I guess... Oh my god. Give me the back. Um, I guess the corners work. And then I should get a thing for infusion, right? Okay, so yeah. I guess you can fill in the corners with Apotheosis. I did not know that. So now we just need this, and we need 45 levels, and I think we have some of those levels in the basement. And by some of those levels, I mean 795. Uh, there. We'll do that, and then infuse it. There we go. And infuse shell. I think, I don't know how many of these I need, honestly. Um, it says I need to infuse them all, so... I need to do all of these, apparently. And then just replace them as I go. Okay. Oh, it's 46 levels. Damn it. Um, Wait, what do I need? No, I need lapis. All right. I'm going to infuse these and I'll come back. All right. Now they've all been infused. So I guess I can move on to the next step. So apparently I need to break nine of them. So we have... Uh, one left. So we need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Apparently, and I need to make two heart forged seashells. This is what they look like. So pretty easy for us to make. Um, just grabbing heart of the seas, and I know I have more than enough prismarine sitting around. So we need at least two of these. Okay, I said I put these down, and then we need what? Seven crystalline shelves. Uh, these ones. So we need seven of these. So we'll make one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of those. I guess I put them back down. I don't know. Now I need ten dormant, ten dormant deep shelf. I made a stack. Um, so we just get the ten here. Put that away, put it away, and then we can... I'm keeping all this in inventory for later. I just don't need these water bottles either. Um, So we need 10 dormant deep shelves. So I just infuse them into the deep shelf variant from here. Oh, there we go. Cool. And I'll infuse all these. Alright, now we have 10 deep shelves. What is next on the list here? After infusing all 10, make 5 soul-touched deep shelf. Okay, I can do that. So we need soul touched deep shelf. And I'm assuming soul touched skulk shelf. Um, then I've got another skulk shelf variant. Okay, so five deep shelf and five echoing deep shelf. So we need five of these. Which is fine. We get skulk and the lantern. So the skulk. And I'll get the lanterns. All right, here are the five soul-touched deep shelves. And then we need five echoing deep shelf. Um, so we just need echo shards, which we have. And then... Um, we don't need that anymore. I don't need that. Or that. I don't think I'll just do anything to my own. Um, so I need candles. How do I make candles? Candles are honey and string. Okay. A stack of candles. Okay, so that should be uh easy enough. Then we need five echoing deep shelf. Yeah, okay. Five echoing deep shelf. Then we need to upgrade them both to their skulk variants. So this should be pretty easy. So we need to do the catalyst block. And oh, where am, where am I going? Where am I going? That, so I don't know how many of these tendril things we have. We have enough, apparently. 
And then it says with our current setup, we should be able to infuse them all. But I don't see a way to infuse anything. Hello? Never mind, I'm not reading correctly. Uh, I need to up, uh, need to make three shelf of end of, shelf of end fused rectification. Okay. Let's see, shelf of ends fused rectification. That seems weird. So to make this, we need, we have everything, purple and amethyst, but we need these. So that'll be kind of hard to make. Well, not hard, but I have to make stuff for it. Instead, we need three, and you have to start all the way at the bottom by getting infused seashells. So I'm not sure how many. So we have one. Here's two. So I need to infuse uh, one more of these. Can I make one? Thank you. Thank you so much. I really do appreciate that. It's a little pricey at this point. Not really. It's pretty much the same price as long as you, as long as you have 60 levels, but still. So to do this, I forgot what I needed. We need to do a rectification. So this is one we need. That should be pretty easy. Just honey blocks. So we can go ahead here and get some honey. Boom, 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 boom. Then we should be able to get one, two, three. Cool. And it looks like the next step in this is gilded blackstone, which we actually don't have. Uh, We can easily get it though. I'm gonna do it this way. I'm not going to the, I'm not going to the nether. Well, actually, I might go to the nether. I'm on top of a bastion. So it looks like I'm going to need at least 12. But I got to say, spawning in on top of a bastion really makes things nice. All right, I'm bored looking. I'm going to do it the mechanism way. And there we go. This is much better. Just do it this way in the first place. And now we have three shelf of hellbound rectification shelves. And now we get what we really wanted. It was shelf of infused rectification. So next thing we need is at least one draconic end shelf, and that's going to need another dragon head, aside from the one we already have, because the one we already have is needed for the crafting recipe, I'm pretty sure. Um, this one, yeah, and then I assume it's this one. Yeah, so we need it for this. Um, so I'm going to have to go get um, another, go find another one. Moving so fast, the world's starting to <laughs> suck and move really slow. Hello. All right, almost immediately after I uh, cut, I found this. Oh, a good method I found for this, the best at least I found, was just to like find your nearest. Oh my god, there's two. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> um, it's just go wherever you can and then like RTP once you find one and then go somewhere else. But this, oh my god, there's two here. That's insane. Yeah, I definitely found RTPing seems to help me the most, so. But now we can go ahead and make one draconic end shelf once I make an actual end shelf. Wait, what? This is on all the mods guide, so maybe it doesn't apply to this one, but I don't know why you'd change it. Um, to make infused, I place... Okay, so to make infused... I can already make it. I didn't even need to do that. Okay. I'm kind of angry. <laughs> So it looks like to do it, we just need the 10 skulk shelves that we made. And then I need 10 melon shelves. Melon shelf. Uh, of course we don't have melons. I'm going to have to go ask him for melons. Oh, wait. No, I don't. Because we have many melons here. And many melons convert into melon slices. Hello. Don't need to do it at all. I'm going to grab our melon slices. Go ahead and make. Uh, oh god, dang it! Full melon blocks. Go ahead and learn that. And then we just need. I don't remember how many. We need ten. So let's grab a couple stacks of melon blocks. Don't need any of those anymore. And then we need glistering melons. Um, more than that. Go ahead and make some more. There we go. Seven, maybe. I don't remember how many. So we have four. Yeah, we need more. More. And there we go. Now we have 10 melon shelves. So I think I need to place these around also. Um, here, 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 here. There, there. Okay. Now we should be able to apparently make 
uh dragon's breath infused dragon's breath specifically there it is infused dragon's breath thank god it wasn't all that bad after all it wasn't as bad as i thought it was gonna be because you know the guide but that should be fine for now we we'll also add our rectification around just to make things a little bit better just looking at some of his enchants it looks okay i don't even know can i enchant you by chance oh my god wait i can I can enchant this with sharpness six fire aspect three. Wait, what does Reaper do? Down draconic evolution repair enchantment. Okay, so it seems to be on this. Okay, I didn't know I could do that. So it only bumped our damage to five four, but. Fire Aspect 3 is nice. Hmm, I did not know I could enchant this. Let's see what else I can get while we're here. Looks like we can also put Venom on it. Wait, let's get rid of all the melons. They're ruining it. And put all these down. What can we get with this? I can't do anything with that. Ooh. All right, I got Vorpal. This one has a lot of enchantments. But I get, this one has Vorpal 5, and I kind of want that. So let's see. Venom 4 is the last one there. Then we have Venom 4, and then Vorpal 5. Nice. Not that we need it. Maybe for the Chaos Dragon. I'm not sure. This is much better than what it was, especially with Silk Touch. But now we should be able to make the dragon plushie. We go ahead here, and then I'm missing a dragon egg and a draconic core. Um, forgot about that. Uh, let's pull out a dragon egg. And then the draconic core might be a little bit harder. How much awakened? Uh, I have to go kill the dragon again. Oh, wait, no, I don't. Maybe I don't. Oh, no, I don't. Oh, yeah, cool. Thank you. Jeez. That would have been annoying. One, two, three, four. And then we have four, four, and then we just need another star. Okay, let's go craft that. Go ahead and charge it up. And there we go. One draconic core. Get rid of that. And now we should be able to make the dragon plushie. Also, I guess I went back to the stronghold to see if this when I went to the end, I went back to the stronghold to see if I could get this, and I guess it worked this time, so I don't know. With that, we've officially completed the starting out tab. <laughs> and I guess it tells you how to do it, but it didn't want to tell me, so that's that's fine. I, it didn't trigger. Whatever. I found it myself. And with that, we are left with one single thing. So we need the Wither Charm. We need the Glyph of Wither, which... Okay, we need this. The Glyph of Wither, the Everlasting Upgrade... And the witherless rose. So this is kind of hard to get. I could have swore I could have traded for it. I don't want to trade with the fucking queen mead. I don't. Stop giving me these trades, please. But before we move on to that, let's go ahead and make the scribe table from Ars Nouveau. Uh, there. And then, how do I use this? Do I just place them on? So, Magic Essence created an incubation chamber. Oh, my. This is a whole line of things I have to do. I would rather not. Um, Did I say something without EMC? No. Okay. I thought I was seeing things. So, this thing, I'm assuming this needs some kind of form of source. Yeah, it needs 2,000 source, and I have no idea how to make source. So, I'm going to have to look it up. All right. After some quick research online, I think I figured it out. Uh, So, actually, I made an agronomic source link we don't need that um volcanic source link is going to be our preferred method here just because um the other one functions off of like growth ticks for things like potatoes and stuff like that this one we can feed with um coal so we have plenty of that i also want an arcane pedestal here so we need more uh gold nougats here um, I think we might need some of these for the imbuement chamber. No, maybe. I don't know. I'll just make a couple more. I'm not 
totally sure. And then we can get like a hopper or something. I don't even, I truly don't care at this point. Uh, get a hopper and then we come up here and use this thing. I don't use anymore. Um, we do that and then we can feed it. Not right there, please. At least stay out of the way. It's the least stay out of the way, please. Hello. Thank you. Um, we need that. And then we need source jars. Um, source jar. We can at least make a couple of these. So I don't know what's going on there. Let's make sure. 10 source jars. One, two, three, four. There we go. Source jars. And then we can go ahead and feed this with coal. So we'll just grab, uh, we'll just grab blocks of coal. I don't care. And hopefully the way I understood it, this should work. You should eat. Why you no eat? All right, I got it. So you got to put it on a pedestal and then it'll do the source. So I'm just going to let this do its thing for a little bit. And then I think we can just go ahead and put our imbuement chamber here. And then from our imbuement chamber, we need not that, not that, not that. Who needs it? You need this, which needs a source gem. So that goes in the imbuement chamber. And I think these go around it, maybe. Not totally sure. All right, according to online, each jar should hold about 10,000. We have two full jars at 150%. I'm not sure how far it reaches, but yeah, there we go. So that should, you only pull from this? If so, that's no bueno. All right, that's, oh, we're good. Never mind. All right. And then it just doesn't use the rest of that. Interesting. I'm not using this mod either. There are a lot of mods that I'm messing around with here that I've never really had to mess around with. I'm pretty grateful for that. There's some mods I kind of want to start using maybe my next pack or something but now we have this abjuration essence which means we should be able to make what was it oh the abjuration i need that so the abjuration essence with three wither skeleton skulls which we should have at least three of those and then that goes into the scribe table did i picked that up i did this is going to be our area. So how do I use this? Do I just... One. What? What is happening? So I need to use a spell book, apparently. Uh, spell book. I just spelled that wrong. It doesn't matter. Um, hopefully we can go... Oh my god. <laughs> oh. Uh, all right. One second, let me go craft one of those. All right, let's hope this works. Let's do this and then, uh, where's the wither? Yeah, this is what I need. It's a tier three. For all these tier, do I have to like level? What? What's going on? Oh, I don't have enough experience for it because I stored it all. Um, I think it's just 10 levels it needs. Oh, oh. and then just, Right click it, and then hopefully we can go do it. Invalid, sp why are you invalid? Cost remaining items are in the table, okay. There's you, one, two, three. And ooh, ooh, fancy. There we go, Glyph of Wither. Much easier than, easier than I thought it was gonna be. Apparently end crystals got EMC values at some points. I don't think they were there before. Um, so now we have the end crystals we need and a blank upgrade, which means we need some leather and blank upgrade to everlasting upgrade. Next on the list is going to be a witherless rose bush, but for some reason, uh, we have everything here. But for fertilizing, fertilize, fertile essence, geez, slime pearl, green dye, uh, uh. I'm going to go ahead and grab all that. And just like that, we now have fertile essence. There we go. And we need four of those. What are these even used for? Random reliquary stuff. 
fun. And I have to go find a rose bush. I haven't found one of those. Like, I've probably seen them. I just haven't grabbed one, which I'm surprised. And there we go. Some rose bushes. The power of RTP, man. I have RTP to get here and find so many things. I think we don't have a sunflower either for some reason. No, we don't. And there we go. One witherless rose. Which just leaves one more thing, and then we are done. We need wither roses. Um, hmm. I'm going to look up an easy way to get those, because I don't feel like trading for it. All right, I found a weird farm on Reddit. <laughs> I'm not sure if this one's going to work, but if it does, oh, it's going to be great. Um, all right, try it out. This is all part of the plan. I just threw over a thousand eggs. All right. Who wants seeds? Come on, chickens. Come on, my little chickens. You're going to break the sound. Look at them all. Listen to them. Oh, I've been trapped. I've been trapped. All right. Everyone with me now? We got to get a screenshot for... I still have, we still have wanderers. Okay. Let me, let me over. All right. Now, apparently I'm supposed to. All right. Everyone's been thoroughly, uh, everyone come to me. Stand next to the wither, please. Hey, it works. Not as many wither roses as I wanted, but thank you. And with that, we can go ahead and learn the wither rose. Get all that back in there. And then, um, I guess I, sh I shouldn't put all of them in there. Oh, well, um, now we can have the wither charm, which means, yep. Now we should be able to go ahead and craft this thing. Uh, oh wait, we're not craft the weather charm. Okay. Then what I do need is to craft this guy. And let's see what we do and don't have. So we need the tinted glass, the tinted glass, and then the weather builder. We don't need any more nether stars. I don't think so. Uh, we can go ahead and blame our weather builder from here. I don't think it matters. And there we go. The wither is now ours. There we go. And with that, the plushies are done. We get our ultimate thing. You. Chat, is this real? My ultimate reward is a singular ender carrot. I choose to hold arch chosen architect personally responsible. And uh, I will never forgive you. All right. To craft Archimete, we need nine of these mechanical crafters. I'm assuming, yeah, we have none of it. Um, we have Rose Quartz, at least. I remember. I don't remember where we found it, but at least we did find it somewhere. Uh, wait, what? Wait, what? I got to energize it. Okay. Enrich it. Okay. One second. All right, how many I say we need? We need nine. One, two, three. Okay. This is some kind of sick joke. Okay, we need brass ingots, apparently. Um, do we have any brass by chance, per chance? No, we don't. Um, so brass comes from copper and zinc. Is that the only way to craft it? It sure is. Okay. Um, induction smelter it is. Oh my god. And there's one induction smelter. I'm gonna keep with the flow of just slapping shit anywhere I want. Uh, so to make the brass, I already forgot. Um, brass ingots. Thank you. Copper and zinc. All right, now we have ten ingots. We only need nine, but we can go ahead and just uh, two, three, four, five. Go ahead and do this. And just go ahead and grab that. And now we have 10 brass casings, which means we should be able to make way too many because I can't read things. Okay. 
All right, looks like all of these are connected. Let's go ahead and slap this down. And then we just need all of the plushies. So need the evoker, the wither, the bee, the dragon, the elder guardian, the axolotl. There's three. Um, what other ones do I need? The warden, the goats, and the pig. There we go. There's all of them that we need. Let's go ahead and start. Does it matter what order they go in? I assume it matters. So B pig axolotl. So uh B pig axolotl. B pig axolotl. And then followed by dragon goat warden. Uh do 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 dragon goat warden. Followed by Wither Guardian Evoker. Wither Guardian. Before we do this, let's disconnect it. Put it on. Let's, you know, gotta get a, a pick for the gram. And now we can connect it. Go, 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 go. Boom. The Archimede. Nice. Worth 50 mil, huh? And I can just learn this? That's good, at least. That's good, at least. Boom. The Archimede. 50 mil. Let's see what we get for this quest reward. A diamond shovel. Listen. I was angry before, but Chosen? We now have actual beef. So, now that that's... EM adventure bound is done. We go on to EMC automation, which needs the mark of mastery. Okay. This might be taking a little bit longer than I wanted. Um, or maybe not. Who knows? Actually, it might not be too bad. And then the water and then the air and then the earth and then the manipulation enchanting apparatus. Sure. Sure. But I just looked at the time of the episode and we're already over. Insane. So, I mean, that's a good place to end the episode anyway. Next episode, we will knock out this one for sure. And then probably knock out, well, honestly, probably the rest of the tab, if I'm being honest. But uh, yeah, that'll about cover it for this time. We completed the Adventure Bound tab, which is a big, nice thing, I guess. And yeah, I'll see y'all in the next one.